Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for October. So anytime in October, if your birthday is in October, happy birthday. So what do we have for Libra? Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. What do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? Dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend. What do we have for Libra? Funnel, period of frustration, a lesson to be learned. So you may find yourself in a situation that makes you very frustrated and it's happening because you need to learn from it. So that's something that's going to happen in October. It's like you can't force it. You can't force it. You notice you got to wait. You may have to be patient. When you force things... <laughs> It usually breaks or causes a clog or something. It stops it from happening. You can't force it. Whatever it is. Patience is going to be needed. Maybe that's the lesson. Rose. Romance is in the air. Romance is in the air, but you're going to have to be patient. Be patient. Let it develop. It's kind of like that rose. It takes it takes time to blossom. Bull. Don't do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. So you are going to have to show strength and fortitude during this time. Patience as well. You are going to need to be patient. You might have to defend yourself at some point. What do we have for Libra? What do we have? Aries could be dealing with an Aries or somebody that has Aries in their chart. Time to set new goals. Money going downhill. That happens. 444, four, four. angels, angel assistance, universal guidance, angel guidance. All is well. All is well. This is angel protection, spiritual guidance. 444, four, four, all is well, all is well. Your money may be going down, the finances may be going down, but the, all is well. You may need to take charge, you may need to set new goals. You also have somebody in your energy that may be helping, I'm trying to help anyway. You can't let stubbornness get in the way. Anyhow, what do we have for. Libra. Older woman. There's an older woman that is affecting you this month. Somebody's having pleasure with a close friend. It has to do with romance. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with an Aries. What do we have for Libra? There's an older woman that is affecting you. Could be a mother, could be a friend, could be a wife, could be a girlfriend, could be a boss. Romance is in the air. I feel like you're gonna be struggling with something because of that funnel. There's a lesson to be learned. You may be frustrated. I think that you may be frustrated by something that is happening. That could certainly be the case. Anyhow, what do we have for Libra? Maybe it's frustration over the money, the loss of money, or the 
what something is obviously happening. It has to do with romance or something like that, whether it's for you or somebody that you're dealing with. Sometimes people get frustrated over the people that they live with or the people that are in their life. Can even get frustrated over the people that they work with. Anyhow, there's definitely some sort of frustration here. The Emperor. Oh, this may have some, something to do with a father. May also have to do with, an, obviously, we have an Aries energy here. This is somebody that is in a position of authority. This is the boss, the ruler, the king. This is the king of all kings, right? This is uh, somebody that is very dominant, very uh, authoritative. This is a leader, a boss, a ruler, a judge, a masculine energy. This is somebody that is battle ready. They're ready to fight. Maybe that's the energy you need to take on. This is very controlled energy. This is I'm in charge. This is re 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 staying in control. Bossing up, taking control. Somebody's taking control. Yeah, the emperor is a warrior. The emperor is the person that, you know, makes decisions. This is a decision maker. This person makes decisions. They're in control. They're the boss. So somebody's making a, a very big decision here. Very authoritative. Taking charge, taking charge. This emperor is taking charge. Mm. Taking control of a situation. You may be, it says do not back down from opposition. You may be facing some opposition with somebody and you need to control yourself in some way. Um... Ten of Michael, that is the Ten of Swords. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. So this is the end of a painful situation. Now I don't know if it's with an Aries where you're taking back control or there's somebody that is coming in. I mean, the, the Emperor is a protector. A situation has ended. You're free. You're free. Now, you could be dealing with an Aries that has ended a situation that has broken them free. Now, it could also be you that has been broken free from this Aries. This is, this is the end. It's the end of a painful situation. It's time to set new goals. Time to take control. The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> So we definitely have completion here. We have a 10 and a 10 right next to each other. This is a major completion of a cycle. There's been suffering. There's been pain. But it's over. It's over. New beginnings. End of delays. A change in direction that offers happiness. So there's definitely a change in direction. It's positive change. It's good luck. It's being at the right place at the right time. This is a positive turn of events. Something is happening. You do have a new beginning here, but you have to take charge. You have to take control. And maybe you're taking control back, but there's some sort of frustration here because I obviously feel like there's a person here that is in a position of authority that is causing you some sort of frustrations. Things are about to change for the better. What do we have for Libra? A change in direction that offers happiness. The end of a painful situation. Congratulations. Put the past behind you. Take charge. Don't look back. Make decisions that are best for everybody involved. And if it's, if it's you that's doing that, then great. If you are a masculine energy, the emperor is a very masculine. This masculine makes decisions and sticks to them follows the plan this is the plan this is what we're doing flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others 
New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So there's somebody here that, that somebody there's been some flirting, there's a new love, there's divine guidance, this is angel protection, universal protection, universal guidance, whatever. This is all as well. There's, this has to do with, uh, fours are about foundations and stability as well. There could be a change in your foundation. Um, something very positive is happening. Put the past behind you. New opportunities for happiness. There is a new opportunity for happiness here. It's time to focus on the future. You will be having pleasure with somebody or somebody around you is having pleasure with somebody. There's flirting. There's a new love. It's Whatever is happening, it's, it's very, very positive. There is an older woman involved. Ah. <sighs> As far as your finances go, you know, there may be, there may be some, money may be going downhill now. There may, may be a loss of revenue or a loss of money or a loss of income or whatever, but everything changes for the better. Everything happens for a reason. The wheel is letting go of control. It's very interesting. It's allowing things to happen. It's something happening. The emperor is all about taking charge, getting organized, having structure and stability. So it's interesting. Something is happening that is changing your circumstances. It's like you're, maybe it's out of your control. Hmm. Definitely a completion of a cycle with these tens. Eight of cups reversed, ace of wands reversed. Ace of Wands reverse is no spark. It's uh, lack of growth. Eight of Cups not going back. Somebody's been, it's too late to go back. You can't go back. Somebody can't go back. They're not going back. Pretending to be happy. Somebody's been pretending. They've been staying put. I mean, the Eight of Cups reverse is staying put. They're not leaving. What the hell is going on? Eight of Cups reversed is refusing to take a new approach, but something is happening. Somebody's been taking a long time. They've been focusing on the past. We have it here. There's no attraction. There's no desire to go back. Maybe that's where you're at. There's no desire for this, to go back to something that is not bringing you any reward. But the Wheel of Fortune, when that cycle ends, it does bring you rewards. So that's interesting. Time to set new goals. Time to go in a new direction. Time to, you can't look back. You can't go back. You can't look back. You can't go back to the past. You can't, there's no looking back now. That's what I gotta say. The Ace of Wands reversed is lack of vision. It's, it's, infertility of some sort or no spark no desire no desire i think that i feel like you obviously have an opportunity here because an ace is a new beginning then we have the new beginnings here you have a new beginning to go in a new direction but the struggle is real to keep going or to allow it to happen Oh, the star is a card of reason it's a card of purpose it's a card of hope and inspiration and guaranteed success somebody's wish is going to be granted and maybe it's not in the way that they envisioned you know this is a wish granted but lack of vision lack of foresight you know somebody may be a wish is being granted but it may not be what you envisioned star is a card of hope it is a card of healing it is a card of purpose Unexpected help, perhaps, to arriving as well with the star card. There's a need to have faith. There's a need to believe. There's a need to not resist. 
Don't resist, please. Have faith in new beginnings. You may not have any faith in new beginnings. This is faith. This is a new beginning. It's there. It's, there's not, The opportunity is there. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I feel like you need to have faith. Have faith in this new direction. I do believe that there is a new love that's going to be stirring your romantic feelings. Now, this is angel guidance, universal guidance. This is, you know, heaven sent. This is a blessing. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Wheel of Fortune again. So this is very positive change. Something is definitely happening in the love department. This is what you asked for. This is a wish being granted. Somebody's wish is being granted in the love arena. Okay. The Ace of Wands reverse can be something happening extremely fast. The King of Cups is somebody that is very romantic, very charming, very emotionally invested, is given to act on feelings, expressing feelings, opening their heart. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is, again, something happening, very positive turn of event. Something is happening that is... It's very positive. It is very positive. This is meant to happen. It's destined. I mean, we have destiny twice. This is destined to happen. It's meant to happen. It's destiny. I mean, this is meant to be. This change is meant to happen at this time. Somebody's going to be opening up emotionally or they're going to be expressing their feelings. They may, they, 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 they have this deep feelings. They have deep feelings. This is what you asked for. Or somebody asked for. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Go with it. Don't resist it, please. Whoa. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is taking a risk. It really is. It's risky. It is very risky. And now the Seven of Swords is somebody that is very cunning, is very, very clever. I mean, there could be somebody here that... is sneaky. There is some sort of sneaky behavior. Maybe there's somebody here that you, I feel like there is somebody here that you don't trust. The Seven of Swords is typically somebody that is very clever. Now, it's interesting. What I just heard is you know, this person doesn't seem to be looking where he's going. He's And this is the Wheel of Fortune. This is something happening it's like running into something it could be a run-in it, it, serendipity uh what's the word for it uh you don't see it coming it, you know what i mean this is like uh what's the word for it you know you're not looking for it you're not looking for it and all of a sudden it's right there this is meant to be it's like serendipity that's what the wheel of fortune is it's a destined run-in of some sort or something happening this is something happening that is somebody like smacks into something. You know, it's like a run in of some sort. But that's Seven of Swords. I need to get another card for that. No. There's a liar here as well. I just got to be honest. And the Magician Reverse right now is clarifying that Seven of Swords. You know, the seven, the, the, the magician reverse is a manipulator. That is a manipulator, a liar, somebody that, you know, is very good and skilled at manipulation. So there definitely could be a manipulator that you're dealing with. And maybe that's what's causing you frustration. Um, you are being called to go in a new direction. 
You may have to listen to your intuition, and I feel like you are trying to listen to your intuition. I wonder if somebody is coming back around with that Eight of Cups reversed. But you're being called to go in a new direction. No, 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 no. Magician reverse is a no. Maybe it's just fear, fear of being lied to. There could be somebody that is coming back around, okay? I just I just got to be honest, okay? Maybe that's what you've been hoping for. You've been praying for it. I'm not sure this person, and this isn't going to be for everybody. This person may not, they may have ulterior motives. And maybe you know they have ulterior motives, but it's what, you know, the heart wants what it heart, the heart wants. And there is a lesson to be learned here. There is a lesson to be learned. So you're going to be facing some opposition. You are going to be facing some opposition with somebody. I don't know if this person has lied to you or deceived you in the past. Or you just don't trust this person. You know this person has some tricks up their sleeve. Um, but I feel like maybe you've been hoping and praying for something from this person. Interesting. Interesting. Romance is in the air. I feel, and for some of you, this is somebody that is coming back around that you've been praying for. For others of you, of you, there could be a new beginning here. This is meant to happen at this time. There is a lesson to be learned. However you take it, whoever you are, there is somebody here that needs to learn a lesson. They may be unaware. They may be unaware of that this person has ulterior motives. I mean, damn. But the Wheel of Fortune is a 10, okay? 10, 10, 10. So that we have three 10s already. So that's completion, completion, completion of a cycle. Maybe it's the end of a cycle of lies and deception. I mean, that could be the case. Manipulation. There is some sort of mental manipulation here. We do have a, there is. But the Wheel of Fortune is the end. The end. Maybe maybe you're protecting yourself. Maybe, you know, you're rejecting somebody because of your own fear. But I also feel for some of you, there is still somebody here that is very skilled. Okay, this is, a, this is somebody that is very skilled at manipulation. They... They are abusive even. I mean, the magician reverse can definitely be an abuser. This could be somebody that abuses their power. That uh... Now, this person is obviously extremely cunning. They are extremely tricky. They are very skilled. They've been doing it for a long time. I think that you are going to be challenged by somebody that you don't trust. I feel like this person has complete control. And I feel like you're going to need to manage your feelings. I'm just being honest. I feel for some of you, you've been hoping and praying for something, right? Or somebody that you are dealing with is hoping and praying for. It. Somebody's wish is going to be granted. You have to be careful. Whenever you get the Seven of Swords, you got to be careful. That is a be careful card. Be careful with your actions. Okay? Be careful with your actions. Be careful. Maybe it's with self-deception. I mean, the Magician Reverse can be self-deception. De self there is protection here. time to take control. It's time to take charge of your life. It's time to go in a new direction. Somebody, you know, I feel like you have to make a choice. Do you want to go back to the past or do you want to move forward? I also feel like you have an opportunity here. You have an opportunity 
for love and maybe companionship or to express your feelings or energy to another person. But you got somebody here that may be deceiving themselves. Magician is a self card. And this is deception. Somebody's been lying. They have been lying. They've been lying about their happiness. Right here. And there's the lies. But there's about to be a change. There is about to be a change. <laughs> Looks like it's a positive change. Let's get one more. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse is giving up, not putting in any more effort. This is not working out. Something isn't working out. Somebody's giving up. They're not really interested in the job anymore. They're not going to put in effort. It, you know, they're not going to be putting in much effort. Somebody's lying about something. Lying about their work, lying about what they do at work. Maybe they're having pleasure with somebody while they're at work. You know, I'm just telling you what I see. Hundreds of people, thousands of people watch these readings. This is doing something at work. It's cheating. It's, it's, it is. It's lying. Pleasure with a close friend. This is work. So somebody may be doing something at work. It may have something to do with a boss. Somebody's lying at work or they're doing something at work. There's deception at work. Everything changes, though. There is a positive change here. Somebody's been thinking about leaving a situation, whether it's work or a relationship. They've been staying put. There's going to be movement in October. Put it that way. There could be a decrease in money, but everything happens for a reason. Rejection is God's protection, right? One more, that's, then we're going to go to the other deck. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about give and take. It's about receiving what you deserve. Getting some sort of offer. Get, or taking it and giving it to somebody else. Something's going to be, I feel like that's what it is. Somebody may, 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 may be abusing their power at work or being abused at work or they're lying at work. They, they could be getting caught. Something could be taken away and given to somebody else. Just being honest. Somebody, you always get what you deserve. There's karma and destiny here twice. Somebody's about to get what they deserve. Six of Pentacles is about reciprocation. It's about you reap what you sow. It's about balance as well. Somebody's about to receive an offer or it's going to be taken away and given to somebody else. It could go either way. It doesn't look like it's going to, something isn't working out. Something isn't working out. We have a liar here. We may even have a thief. I don't know if somebody's been stealing money. They could have been. Anyhow, the judge, the boss, or whatever, or somebody, the leader, the father, somebody's making a life-changing decision. That, that, that boss up there, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, this is making a decision that is best for everybody involved. This is not working out. Giving it to somebody else. This could be an escape, escaping a situation. Somebody is making an escape. They're escaping a situation that isn't working out. There's been some sort of abuse. Maybe it's mental abuse. It's over. It's over. It's over. So however that resonates with you. Let's get one of these. What do we have? Okay, we got two. We're only going to take one. The tribe. Eight. The time is now. Everything changes. 
community, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. This card signal, signals a new affiliation with a group. Humans are social creatures and we need to know we are useful in our tribes, families and communities. In a tribe, everyone has an important function and feels I matter. Membership in the group provides a sense of belonging, of kinship, or of purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your contribution may be as small as showing up, or as large as becoming the leader. You could become the leader. You could be given an opportunity. It could be taken away from somebody else and given to you. Or vice versa. Depending on your contribution. You could be set free from something because of this card. But anyhow. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your contribution may be as small as showing up or as large as becoming its leader. No matter your position in the tribe, your presence is needed. You're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also those who don't share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads. And there are times when you lead and the others follow. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accept the truth that everyone has flaws in part of that dance. Yet you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You're in a perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together. Now, if you were to take on this emperor energy, this is somebody that makes decisions considering the whole tribe, considering everybody. Okay? Interesting. Whenever you're in a community or like or of like-minded others, there's a powerful opportunity to reap great abundance. This is an abuse of power, so you got to be careful. Be careful, you and you need to be able to give and take. Okay, this is about be careful for of, of abusing your own power. You know, we do it. Everybody does it. I'm not just pointing the finger at you. There's every single one of us goes through periods where we let our ego get in the way, or we want to be in control, or we want to be the boss. Be careful of abusing your power this is about give and take it's about balancing out that power anyhow whenever you're in a community of like-minded others there's a powerful opportunity to reap great abundance it's essential to ask what can i contribute rather than what can i get from this what can i contribute Figure out a need and look to fill it. Something meaningful will manifest. Even if, it, even if what manifests is small, it is a sign that the doors of opportunity will swing open wider. There is also another meaning of this card to consider. Don't try to be all things to all people. Choose your role and be true to it and serve from a sense of authenticity there is no greater feeling of accomplishment than knowing that you have a purpose. Star card, and I believe that I said it at the beginning, is a card of purpose. It really is. I feel like a wish is being granted, but it's not how you envisioned, like I said. This is going to be a month of movement for sure with the Wheel of Fortune twice and major completions in your life with the three tens. Okay, it's time to leave the past behind. It's time to be part of the community. It's time to open up. It's time to meet new people and it's time to contribute and collaborate and make decisions that are best for everybody at the part part of the tribe, part of the team, you know. I think you're going to be in a position you have a lesson to learn about give and take. 
So anyway, I feel like this is going to be a month where positive things are happening because the Wheel of Fortune is upright. It's positive turns of events. Maybe the lesson has to do with letting go of control um, or controlling things in a balanced manner. You may have to control your emotions. You could be working with somebody that is abusing their power and you want to, you know, handle the situation, but you got to handle it diplomatically. Anyhow, Libra, I feel like this is a new tribe, new people, new environment. Maybe getting together with somebody new. Good luck.